In this video, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite route combinations to beat the Blitz, really beat any coverage in this game. And I'm really liking five out route combos out of Trips Tight End, specifically when you target short passing. And the reason why I like these route concepts is because it makes it difficult to blitz. It's frustrating because your opponent can't use or everything. And you're going to be able to just simply carve the defense up. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. I also want to let you know that I'm talking today about the trip side information out of the New England Patriots offensive playbook. If you want to learn, uh, if you want to get my entire trips tight end ebook, or you want to just get all of my ebooks, I've got 14 offensive and defensive guides available this season. And you can actually get all of them for one low price of just $10 a month by joining my Patreon. There's a link in the description below. If you want to sign up for that, it has all the route combos, all the updates, everything it has a lot of really good defensive tips as well in there, defensive guides. So if you want to check that out, there'll be a link in the description below. Now, in this video, we're talking specifically about a route concept that I really like, and you can actually do this out of any play. If you don't have the Hot Route Master ability, then I would recommend doing this from the play Pats Y in. But again, you can do this pretty much from any play as long as you have Tight End Apprentice or Hot Route Master. Okay, so what we're going to do, I like to do this out of PA Counter Go, but again, you can do this out of any play. It really doesn't matter what play you select. Okay. Um, now, what you want, and what I've actually kind of come back to, especially against people that like to blitz, is having the spacing that Trips Tight End allows you to have, where you have these three receivers to the wide side of the field spaced out like this, it really can open up some opportunities. So, as a kind of precursor, I would recommend running this play with your three wide receivers to the wide side of the field. So, if we're on the left hash mark, um, you see here the ball is on the right hash mark right now. If the ball was on the left hash mark, we just flip the setup, Okay. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to put our tight end on a post. We're going to put both or we're going to put um, our outside slot receiver on a hitch, our outside receiver on a quick out, and then we're going to put our inside slot receiver on a flat and the running back is going to go on a wheel. Now the reason this is so good is because the post route will really mess with any kind of vertical hook type of zone that they try to put over here. So uh, what I'm going to do is that we're going to play hard flats and I'm going to play shaded down vert hooks. What you're gonna notice with how this play works is this wheel route and, and, and uh, post combination can really cause some problems. We're gonna motion the flat over, snap it kind of right here. Notice the vert hook climbs and we can easily throw this ball to the running back. So what they're gonna have to do, honestly, I'm not even sure that a five yard vert hook will guard this because of where this route will actually get open. And the fact is that, and this is some research that I've done from previous Maddens as well as this year, but one of the things you're gonna notice with vertical hook zones is they tend to play very good as long as the, the route that they're covering is inside the numbers. But when that route goes outside the numbers, for whatever reason, they typically won't drift outside the numbers. So you'll see here, because this wheel route is going to cut outside the numbers, that vert hook kind of ignores it. And as you can see, we can easily pretty much beat every zone in the game. Now, again, like I said, this beats every zone in the game, okay? It's not just, um, it's not just, you know, cover two, right? It's going to beat everything. So again, I like to snap kind of right before he sets, but notice here, curl flat zone gets pulled out. You're able to throw that in there. You want a possession catch, in my opinion. Um, I also really do like to low ball this route because I just think it's, I just think it makes it a lot better. When you combine what we're doing with this post from the tight end, what makes it so good, in my opinion, is the post really does do a good job of carrying the yellow zones vertically and allows this pocket to be created horizontally for your running back to get open, okay? Now, if it's man-to-man, -man, I want to show you something really quickly. Um, most people that play trip side in are pretty leery to play man against the running back because there's so many things he can do to beat it. But if this is man coverage, if you lowball this, you see there, it's not quite there specifically against cover to man. However, let's say, for example, that they go to Mike Blitz Zero, and they shade over top because they obviously again you're playing trip side in so most of the time you're not just going to get straight press across the board uh, very rarely you know unless they have some deep blues or something like that well what you're going to get now is this window that you can throw it see how he runs into the flat 
and then you can kind of just lob this over the top. I mean, obviously McCourty's a much better corner than Ronald Jones is. Now, if you have backfield mismatch or master, those will be very helpful abilities as well to get this open. Now, that's just that side of the field, and there's a lot that comes with that. I mean, you know, we, we went over cover four, we went over cover two, uh, we went over cover three. Now I want to show you cover four match real quick. You're going to notice with match coverage that he pretty much, I mean, you can still kind of fit it in. All right. It's not as open, but it's still fairly open for the most part. Um, let me show you cover two one more time, and we're just going to shade our coverage down uh, so that these vert hooks play as low as humanly possible. And what you should see, again, get this guy outside the number is really important and you see this is wide open, okay? So to me, it's one of the better route combos in the game because there's not really a coverage that's gonna be able to beat it. So what the opponent's tendency is gonna be is they're gonna use it, okay? They're gonna say, you know what, we're just gonna use it. Okay, well that's fine, you can do that, but what happens is now you're gonna be susceptible to everything on this, on this opposite side, okay? Including the flat to the right. If the flat is open, you can take the flat. But he's going to come over here to the running back. Well, now look at this tight end. All the way across the formation, just pass laid down. It's one of the best. Um, it's I just pass laid down into the outside. One of the best routes in the game. By far one of the best routes in the game. Well, you might say, well, what if they go with the Tampa 2? Well, if they go with the Tampa 2, typically what we're going to find is they're still going to be in a lot of trouble because now you basically have a high-low on this back side between your out or your zig. Now you can put him on a zig or you can put him on an out. The one thing I will tell you about a zig route, the zig route works significantly better if it's um, if it's not a snap read. So unless you're reading snap, like if they press me, I typically do a zig. Now you see how that zig kind of puts that defender in a lot of conflict on that cover two side and you're able to deliver the ball. So all in all, guys, this is just a really, really good play. Um, if they run man coverage on you real quickly here, let's say they run man to man. What you're going to notice is now, so you get this press alignment, right? Well, they're going to have this inside cutting route to deal with from the tight end, and they're going to have that route from the running back. I will say man probably defends this better than anything. Let me give you a quick way to solve that problem. So let's say you are getting man to man. What I like to do is simply this right here. So if I'm getting a lot of man-to-man -man coverage and I'm anticipating that might be something they're going to call here, I'll still run my wheel flat com concept post wheel flat. But now instead of a hitch and a zig on the backside, I'm going to run a flat and a, di or a, a little five-yard baby in route. And what you're going to notice here is if you got a good solo receiver out there, um, you got your wheel there, of course, but then you also have this little check down right over the middle of the field. It just spaces the field perfectly, in my opinion. You still have a flat to check down to on the backside. So there's just so much you could do with this play. Uh, I talked about this concept the other day as well. But the beauty of trips tied in is when you start really taking your underneath and learning horizontal concepts to combine with some of the really powerful vertical passing concepts, you really put them in a position where they're going to have a lot. They're just going to be having to guess. I mean, they basically have to guess what you're going to do. So I hope you enjoyed this breakdown. If you want to learn um, more about this offense or if you just want to get better, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon. There's a link in the description of the video. And you can sign up today for just 10 bucks. There's also a way that you can save some money by signing up for a year membership. It, it does give you a little bit of a discount there. Uh, but guys, just just telling you straight out, uh, the Patreon, we've got 14 ebooks, 14 offensive and defensive guides, really diving deep into this game. Trips tied in bunch, bunch tied in U trips, spread. Um, we've got defenses out of 335 wide, uh, bear, we've got triple, we've got nickel normal, one of the best coverages that nobody knows about in that formation. So if you're looking to get better at the game, I would really encourage you to sign up for the Patreon. Um, just check out one ebook at a time. Uh, but again, it's, it's really, really valuable. You can cancel whenever you want as well. You don't have to sign up for the year if you don't want to. You can just do month to month. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're interested in the Patreon, head on down to the description of the video and uh, click that link that I put down there for you.